Welcome everyone to another fun little evening professional C code and Linux edition. Nearly with the P3 of course or similar sorts. Anyway, finishing our ISO release stream stuff of today's edition of Villet Blend or actually uh, Villet Cross Compile. And you would think of all the people always telling me, yeah, I make this shit up and Debian everything works. Wanted to build an uh, additional ISOs for x86 and Spark and stuff uh, because PowerPC P3 um, sort of nearly finished. Thought I released at least x86-64 for AMD64. Goodness, playing along at home. Guess what doesn't cross compile? Uh, if you was of all stuff, you probably have seen this in an earlier live stream. And today I thought I finally fixed this. You might wonder why do I cross compile this? Well, because to have the same ISO for each and every one so that not only do we want to cross compile everything for MIPS and ARM and Spark and Hewlett Packard and Alpha and Intanium and Super H and ARM and RISC-V and stuff, but certainly I could natively compile it and often I've done, but to maximize testing and roll um, iron out all the issues and bugs, why not? So first of all, what happens here? So for you to play along at home and learn something and stuff. So this doesn't build because, yeah, of course it doesn't just build because why should it? 2020 stuff can be buggy. Also amazing C code. That's what professional C code they are made at D Dell and Intel and probably Fedora and stuff. Exactly the amazing C code we all want to have. And because it's such a super amazing C code, the usual high standard that we use to deal with here, it's Compiler, the, the, comp the C compiler, the, the GCC C compiler of all things already says, hey, error, taking an address of a packed member of struct anonymous may result in unaligned pointer value. It's like, yeah, YOLO, whatever, programming in 2020 or probably some years ago. And yeah, welcome everyone. Hey guys. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, sorry for the drops, this analog virus stuff that's going around the world. Everyone watching video, um, I double and triple. So and also YouTube and Netflix already throttled to SD by default in Europe now since today, but doesn't help much. Um, I'm only live streaming with, fun fact, only live streaming with 4 Mbit. I still have 11% or 1200 drop frames already because uh, uh, anyway. So yeah, beer with the drop frames, I hope anyway. Um, so. Fun. I looked already into this and I thought this is so bizarre. I make a short live stream to entertain you there at home and that you don't get crazy as, as crazy as I do here. And um, turns out because I, this is only dash w error address of packed member for x86. It's actually, it's actually not that bad. It's more a thing for let's say maybe armor stuff unaligned x86 basically mostly doesn't really care much about unaligned as this means that this structure is not at uh, not necessarily at natural boundaries if you have say, some we cut, can actually take a look here at this um that is either is it source or is this 118 and yes so some format stuff of uh, size of, of uh, whatever there is even this struct and macros and yeah amazing stuff um so basically we, we like yolo whatever we are not rewriting amazing industry standard super professional high quality dell and intel and, and whatnot code so i was like did this not previously built for me like in, in previous live streams with you guys and uh, sure it did so i was why does it freaking compile when we natively compile it and well it also doesn't fun fact if you download this and run this playing along at home on your favorite local Linux distribution, it probably will not compile with latest. If, if you don't, don't have something as outdated as Debian, but some latest and greatest compiler, probably you get this error. And I was like, why does, why did this previously build? So it turns out I had this work around it already and um, was just like YOLOing this, just like professionals do, certainly not fixing this garbage code from Dell there. And um, so the way I yolo this is already like with our automated compiler um, compiler uh, wrapper of injecting and removing stuff automatically because that's we, how we are doing it for decades already for professionally. We, I simply added like dash no error, like yeah, just like YOLO, whatever, just don't care, go away. And I was like, this is here. Why the freaking heck does this not really work? Turns out on a, I could have seen this actually fun fact. I, I probably should 
tried to read more the details, but this, this stuff is so silly you couldn't even get to such ideas. So it turns out the actual the, the additional issue, so not only is this code garbage, obviously the, the compiler already tells us, hey, this code is garbage, you don't want to use it like this, but yeah, YOLO, whatever. Our, our life here. Um, if I looked here even more closely, which probably you might agree, here you see already it's like what the heck this is calling CC. And so this is this is a, a second issue of like why the heck do the so our build system, um, our automated T2 stuff of doing everything as much as automate here because automation. So we run this here with make uh, CC because we're cross compiling, and so the reason this accidentally works is accidentally well starting with if you just unpack it you probably get the same error but even if you YOLO this somehow it only accidentally accidentally works native builds because CC is then is a native compiler and here CC so it's not even using the correct cross compiler which is why the automated T2 um, wrapper translations do not imply this because this is a system compiler which in cross builds you also need for example to use a system compiler to build your cross compiler so this would be for comp cross compiling GCC okay. This also means if you have, if you do not have CC, like some systems may not have CC, and or if you have two, so if you have T2 and you have GCC and Clang, Clang, and you want to use like, if, if your default certainly is CC, is the default Zoom links to GCC or something, this also means that it wouldn't use Clang if you would otherwise configure and use. So yeah, totally stupid. Also yeah, quality code. So the code is so garbage that GCC already says, you know what, this code is, I will error out here, like unless you YOLO it. And additionally, it's like, yeah, of course they play CC hard coded into, into the Mac file because it's how we are doing it since the 80s or something of that, that sort. So fix file. If you are new to this channel and figure we are a little bit ironic, then yes, it's, it's just like our daily night light. Uh, uh, at night show here of set tires that is this amazing open source world. So how do we YOLO this? We take a look into the code here and um, okay they have here even top tier deprecated rules of no, thank you very much. So then CC and make rules or oh, something because there are many CCLD um, some more rules. Let's see where is it coming from. So they have CCLD. What is it? The only thing they have? Or what? So the the right fix is of course to honor. What do they have? Also they they have a variable just like freaking. Why do they call this here CCLD? You know, this is, I've in, in twenty years never seen that. I have I've seen a lot. But um, CCLD is a new thing. Probably they mean like compile and link one, one compiler. But because um, they have a CC for build, this is um, yeah. Why use standards? Why not just use um, CC? So okay, we have here. Okay, this is also make defaults. So fix file. So maybe we do not even patch this. Then it is enough to just add here. Yes, also I have even cross compile stuff, uh, but um, yes, I mean you could have it so simple, just like so they even have the extra stuff. Um, they even have a compiler. I mean this is this is a first. I Many there you also see innovation. They desperately need to do something new and different than everyone else, and then um, you sit here in the evenings and and wonderings like. What and also yeah, so they have here if something so I mean because if you have the stashes here, this doesn't even so if if they would have just used more standard conforming stuff of um, either just the, uh, AR and CC, this would have just worked. Actually, they have here CC. Why uh, does this not? Anyway, so probably so. And they even have cross compiler, but this is cross compile compiler AR. What somehow this is also if this is what is this if this would be power PC, this also looks totally not like how you're usually doing it because this would be like power PC something and then like GCC AR. It's like what doesn't really make that much sense anyway. So let's see if this works. If we supply here the right compiler, that would be. 
eval this stuff and then compiler equals uh, probably our CC might this. Uh, this is still using CC. Why compiler? Um, yeah, amazing make files and then they do not even allow you to overwrite this. This is hilarious. Yes, and then you spend here minutes of reading. Of course, without YouTube live stream here, it would be a little bit faster. But so deprecated version rules, defaults. Um, why would this not work? So cross compile, compiler. I mean, I said, but this is also strange. They have here compiler GCC. Why? Why is it using CC then? Oh, here is something CC for build. What the heck? So they have your compiler and CC. Uh, this is hilarious. Why they have done this, they probably don't know themselves. So let's see what happens if we... Uh, also mouse wheel, I really hate console terminal mouse wheel support. CC for build, let's see what happens with that. Something happens. So now we apparently. Uh, why? So why? Hmm. I have no idea. Anyway, so yeah, then we don't even need to patch this. I have the suspicion we will have the same with EFI boot manager, EFI vars. This, of course, is modern EFI variable and boot manager control stuff. EFI vars desk, and then this would be additional code here in our. Oops in our T2 standard modern. On an old fashioned way, this wouldn't have worked, this wrapping. So var append make opt and cc for build. So like, oops, how did this happen? Uh, anyway, maybe I usually try to sort it in logical groups and also I usually start with stuff that is used first. So that means in, in my style, this should be like first like the compiler and then like additional stuff. So that is, why I rather move it like this if we already make it perfect. So CC for build CC, that probably maybe should work. Let's see, probably there's not that much left. I think it could theoretically, how many, let's see. Um, while we are at it, you will also not believe, or maybe you do that xorg for Spark fails, at least for me right now here. So latest and greatest upstream code of, I thought I built a Spark ISO because now yeah, why not support Spark 64. Um, for those playing along at home, but yeah, undefined reference Spark, Spark driver name, um, undefined reference to SBUS probe and, and claimed and stuff. And yeah, so much to 2020 and Spark X work. So this is funny. If he was, okay, maybe this, but probably let's, okay, we can actually leave this running. Maybe if he was, is having, is having the same issue, but is still, so like just compiling accidentally because we don't need this workaround, but maybe it's using the wrong compiler accidentally. This is why it's actually quite important also to test this cross compiling because as we see, it also uncovers new bugs and yeah, can never have too many bugs. Well, logs one, this was if he boot manager. I have the suspicion it's no, you know what? This is using the right, this is funny. So. One of the packages is doing it. Well, actually we have here build CC, CCC for build. So this is automatically supply, supplied, supplied because we're cross compiling. But funnily enough, this if you can't make this stuff up, you would think it's from the same authors, but um, that is actually using this, the correct thing. Let's be quit also just because we're waiting for this build to finish here with our it can't make this stuff up. People, people consuming so much internet um, here in central Berlin that this cable doxa segment we have. And by the way, I I stated this wrong. I because this this business cable is so garbage. I did not even remember that I upgraded years ago for this YouTube uh, business here uh, to a whopping 500 Mbit down and 50 freaking Mbit up. And right now we are not even getting stable 4 Mbit. I'm I'm streaming with four freaking mbit only and even then 18 percent drop frames in case of everyone sitting at home and watching a video streaming services it's hilarious um actually oh, the downstream is relatively okay we usually get some well except so, sometime of the day today we only got 80 mbit 
uh, downstream. But usually downstream, I don't even complain. And actually, fun fact, I need less. I don't even need the downstream. What we need is upstream here. And so while the downstream is relatively okay-ish, which usually is something between 200 and 450, which is actually pretty good in my opinion, but yeah, freaking upstream totally ruined. Um, I even got, got tiny dropouts on, on voice over IP. It's, it's hilarious, so much upstream garbage. Anyway. So yeah, welcome everyone. Cool Trinum is now default terminal. Um, yeah, cool stuff. Thanks uh, for tuning in. I hope it makes you happy. Um, have you considered consuming lots of alcohol and sending the developers a strong worded email. Um, yeah, not really usually into this sort of things, but um, yeah. Um, fun fact, I could theoretically, do I find probably not, um, uh, probably not logged into this German Heise forum, am I? Um, do I remember my password and which email did I even use here? Okay, then not whatever, not sure what I used there because there was one of the Debian developers who insulted me so much, would make everything up and stuff would just work. Um, just for the double checking, we could quickly check download mirror. Uh, that was a if he boot manager. I'm just curious how this Mac file looks. Yeah, look, this is uh, one. Oh no, they also have. Why do I not? Oh no, they are. They did overlook this. So this Mac files are the same, but maybe they. Oh no, wait a second, this was not rules but defaults or something. So actually it is pretty similar, but they have here, it's similar but not the same. So yeah, so much to their consistency, they have professional Dell quality. If you were wondering, they build software better than their PCs and laptops. Yeah. Uh, happy to hear that the streams make you happy. Um, seeing me suffering with this stuff, we can. Um, so uh, first of all, we certainly commit if he wars and like fix if he wars. And so um, to cross compile and use correct. Compiler general um, commit that. Do we have maybe that? Uh, it's really annoying that this latest subversion version does not save the password anymore due to GNOME curing integration. Can't have the cake and eat it too. So um, I slightly wonder, so just wanted to live stream that. Um, because um, so many issues each day and um, so yeah easily with with this kind of stuff trying to keep everything compiling from yeah even freaking x86 even there's this if he amazing 2020 of we need to write everything and see low level stuff with array of by one and, and, and string off by one and, and use after three and such amazing stuff and it doesn't even freaking compile with default settings and um, so for a test, so theoretically this ISO should not be too far away. Um, create error list for x86-64, of course the PowerPC ISO we have, so yeah, three to go. However, uh, yeah, so three to go, but Linux kernel. So we could theoretically already prepare to fire here up some QEMU. So that would be something of QEMU system. x86, as this Ryzen will build this here relatively quickly. And um, I always mix here dash m. Let's say was this 512 m and CD-ROM user source t2 clean. This would be something like this ISO. Hey, even have an old ISO laying around here. And this, okay, this comes up. Okay, still comes up good. Um, yeah, so Linux kernel doesn't take that long, and then we can theoretically. Um, of course, x86 in general, we certainly need more consistent ISOs published because certainly soon the last usable Linux distribution and certainly the most vanilla raw like sushi and, and fun stuff. 
And yeah, so theoretically, I have a completely rebuilt ISO for PowerPC um, that I theoretically should test. I fixed, yeah, with all the cross compile, well, not, not really all, but the major ones. Okay, we still need, but yeah, even for the P3 and in general, so for the P3, we still need Kboot. I wanted to, yeah, there you see how much time does all of this open source efforts just to have a usable Linux distribution take. Also need to test boot them. Um, and not only P3, but also Power PC, Power Mac, G5's upgrade on the previous video, 2.5 gigahertz, uh, never released single processor, dual core, uh, skew upgrades there of, of, of Power PC, G5, tinkering fame. So yeah, need to test boot that on the G5 or not theoretically, maybe even, maybe even test install. I think I, the problem is always for me, so this always has been the, the issue for two decades now. If I test install on my precious Power Mac and, and Spark and stuff, then each time I have say, some data and stuff. So always leave, leaving some old, it's always, it's not, not only the time of test installing it, but then later have some mixed system of old data trying on. Sometimes I even accidentally wipe it. So always like not to lose data. I have my own home, home directory where there might be some temporary work stuff and then still some T2 unfinished stuff because there's always something unfinished of all the stuff so yeah huge time but probably on the g5 i think i have a new ssd in there so um i think only if there one test installed since the last time on it so yep but alone the testing time is easily 30 percent especially if stuff like on the p3 didn't just work which we also thankfully already fixed but yeah yeah, welcome everyone. Theoretically, not really. Yeah, I mean, not that we can go out and do much at this time here with this analog virus stuff going around. So, unlike we join all those uh, video consumption people, like you and stuff, I mean, theoretically, mm, so more, am I motivated to test install on a power mic today? Mm. Maybe we test install this. I mean, this should only take, hopefully, Femi's last words, it should only take five minutes and then one hour later. But uh, this probably was the last thing we could actually check. Do I still have some data running here? Our data didn't find something new. And uh, probably we still have some, yeah, even, even this is just, um, what do we have here? Theoretically, we should go through here. I mean, some are some untested, uh, like, I mean, theoretically, you know what, just like, let's commit this. If the previous version probably didn't build due to some dependency of whatever it's using. So I also write down it once this. Um, Password again, commit this. And then, yeah, some of this stuff. So this did not yet compile, actually. So this I do not, so because this, this for sure I remember didn't compile. Also here, um, all the packages, there were some patches, I think. Which I'm not, not even sure, they were quite, not even sure. I tested this the other day, or did I probably already as for, for uh, we had some G's here yeah, over the years, GCC, GLibc patch because stuff didn't build anymore. What is with this Linux? Is that an update that I didn't yet commit or? Oh no, this, ah, right, this is, okay, we can commit this. This is just compile the Linux kernel stuff at the end. So yeah, Linux, so this um, finished and so this should be now the really last package. Um, yeah, just that. And here a couple of, so this are the, why did Linux fail here? What, this should not, so I mean, yeah, Xox drivers, even the VMware, this fails, probably we had a similar glitch of Xox server compiled with Mason because amazing build system and then some stuff doesn't build anymore. So maybe they both also from the SES, there is theoretically a git tag of a new version, but not a release table because, yeah. But yeah, this is just cross compile stuff. Of course, usually this stuff builds in T2, just not now. Yeah. Slightly wonder why is here, should there not be, why is here no binary file not present? Uh, why? Not this is confusing. If I somehow cancel this accidentally, doesn't really. I was running some cleanup. Maybe actually, 
Okay, if we are luck, if we are unlucky, we did run some cleanup, scripts cleanup in parallel, maybe. Okay, fine, we have a bit more stuff to sort. Um, actually, by the way, how was this, was this? Ah, you know what, I think, or is this actually, ah, I should, should actually rebuild GCC without this patch. I'm not sure if that is needed, because I found a better fix later for that. Maybe this is, let's see, did rebuilding solve that missing file, hopefully. Uh, okay, it's probably, oh, but now we have the Linux also went, what? Why is here boot grub? What if I done there? Uh, maybe I edit hand edit this is another live stream for testing. There was something of having some maybe I hand edit this. So yeah, this stuff, theoretically, they probably maybe have compiled, but yeah, Mason build system, some, it's just some PCI, lib PCI access thing, so yeah. Um, let's see, oh, this is also super annoying, this, yeah, so this is also, if you think, if you, you think you're finally ready, we have, this is still the, some file not ending up in, this is super annoying, to be honest. Let's test here something, let's test if, but yeah, actually, yes, famous last word, I said it before, famous last words should only take five minutes, but yeah, there's more stuff to test because I wonder if we need this here. Let's see, job one, GCC. Unfortunately, due to this missing files, yeah, this, yeah, I'm also tempted, this is probably some, it's like, yeah, YOLO, whatever, let's just commit this. If it didn't build before, it's really some fancy dependency, something missing. Also, not updated in a while. This is this fancy old fashioned cat system. I can't even type my password anymore. So, yeah, welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning in. And um, yeah, so this is previously, I patched it around previously this in probably maybe in some other live streams, this GCC compiler I wrote out with only with, actually not only with Chris I also wanted this in some native build, but ah uh, yeah, Gypsy. So yeah, stuff, Debian people telling me yeah, stuff just builds like, yeah. So this patch apparently really needed right now. This is also a new regression, this did not happen before maybe the previous glibc upgrade because yeah GNU integration stuff you update glibc or GCC and stuff doesn't build anymore. Really quick theme here. Um, let's just then move. Let's reverse this here. Of uh, enable it again. Add, not not sure if we. Yeah, people also in some comments told me I don't really get into this issue. But seriously, I will not debug this this bloody um, this Kenzo's fancy famous. Uh, can we also, uh, I didn't know here. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the stupid undefined undefined symbols of glibc xx versioning fame. It's like, yeah, I, I'm not debugging this. And people telling me I don't spend enough time looking into the issue. Like, yeah, I <laughs> spending enough time looking at stupid issues. I'm not fixing the, the simple versioning garbage of failing every other decade. Um, thank you very much. I've spent enough lifetime with this stuff. Don't really need this, works for me. Um, someone else can fix this, this is really, um, yeah. And also, yeah, this easily, this, this macro garbage of whatever's going wrong, they easily takes an hour or an afternoon to, to hunt down, so yeah, upstream developers. Maybe in, I started my own just-in-time glue, uh, most likely we continue with some amazing compiler stuff. I fix my own compiler, but this stuff they can do themselves, seriously. People that read it and stuff get paid for that, so commit that. Um, do we still compile here something of, uh, no we don't. Probably we also need to rebuild some stuff that has some files missing that I still need to figure out why. Probably the previous live stream rename at system call. So for now let's just shadow rebuild here some stuff where something is missing. And here 
Das ist Disable. Um, uh, das ist like std c++ glibc simple for cross for now disable std c++ glibc symbol versioning while cross compiling for now so yeah So, um, so much to you. Yeah. There's always something. Let's see how many others. So in general, we have built everything. Let's see, do I have here still um, four, all of this? Let's see how many. Yeah, unfortunately there, uh, this is really, I spent already, there you see, we spent already another night on this, this stupid new system call, whatever stuff. Um, I thought I had it mostly fixed, but apparently not fully. So this is also, this is among other things, open SSL. And unfortunately, glibc that will. Well, thankfully, we have here a thread ripping epic AMD Ryzen 1350X. So, this will only take five minutes or so. If, if you're wondering why I have this piece, uh, this is why, of course, faster to the build errors there, certainly. And also, yeah, you've seen the build time maybe previous live stream here on the P3. Um, even RxVT Unicode takes five minutes or minutes but other stuff the Amiga emulator took 40 minutes I think on the P3 so yeah in case you're wondering why we cross compile everything on epic thread ripping AMD hardware here so what else do we have RPC bind so this is um, also NFS something for those who are new to this theme so jobs this is NFS I think NFS utils or something um, so for those who are new to this issue uh, and the stream, so this is just our file list of packaging, modification, tracking technique, and there are new system calls, those with add at the end, open add, of course, decade old, we support this already, but there's also rename it. I think the actual issue is previous live stream, into this detail, so right now we only wait for OpenSSL and glibc to rebuild. The actual issue is, I think, that probably the core utils install is including their, their own, not like not using the system libc, which in my opinion is also hilarious, should not be done. Completely bad style that the tools like core utils or what it was, util Linux core utils, something of that sort, instead of like, also for no good reasons, it, it's not even, as far as I've seen, usually not even using this additional arguments of uh, rename it with file descriptor at some other stuff, previous live stream. So it's not even using this and totally bad style, not, not using the system library, um, rename, um, C function, but some built-in stuff. And then if you LD preloads this for wrapping some function with debugging and whatnot, then have their own system call stuff, they're totally bad style. It's like, you know, anyway, due to all of this issue, also you should never in your programs have custom system call stuff in use. It's the job of the C library. But, uh, what do I know about system architecture? Let's, um, for all of this stuff, invalid regular expression, okay, fine. Um, so we also have bin, is there so, okay, we have add sed, so, uh, so remember this, so this is that. So this is again, just this is stupid system call stuff, we need to fix this another day. Um, also, yeah, epic AMD processor builds this in some seconds instead of minutes and hours. And gzip, gzip, and then let's, Grab here over or lips. Also, you see how amazing this is, except the tiny glitch of not working. But in general, so this is glibc um, glibc32 multi lip stuff for backward compatibility. I think we eventually this is probably the last package, and then um probably most likely i slightly wonder are those zimlings or why do we have some there and some there also i slightly wonder in general although we will continue with our own microkernel stuff because we need something more reliable dependable secure and and maintainable and and stuff for the future of course we will continue to maintain the linux party of t2 i slightly wonder if i should create 
some configuration because the beauty is with T2 with its targets you can do your own translation and configuration. Um, I wonder if I should build the default configuration of T2 for example without user. Um, I know some distributions like maybe Red Hat or something have transitioned away to put everything in user which I find a little bit hilarious because honestly like user stuff this is like really stupid to uh, which fun fact we could also fact check that not to um, spread here some fake news like other presidents do. Do we so this is the compiling. Um, so because this fun fact if you didn't know in vintage Unix systems like in the 80s or 70s this user like this the reason why we have slash and slash user is that slash was a system once and actually user was additionally installed once stuff and um, later it became slash was the stuff you need for boot and slash user was additional system stuff that after you could then use after booting um, correct me if I'm wrong though um, not really sure maybe we broke our Firefox again because it would be so 2020 it worked earlier what if I don't know is my sometimes it yeah sometimes it's unhappy I'm not really sure why I know it's unhappy um, but um, welcome Jim American probably need to make some programming 101 then um, but what I mean is, in my opinion, I find, um, so what I was talking about was slash and slash user parses. It was the historic um, definition or how this it historically grew. And I find user really stupid because, I mean, it's not even like user, right? I would actually, like on macOS where you have slash users, it makes actually more sense than this stupid user. Um, and I'm actually tempted because in T2 we can flexible configure this for your embedded target and uh, your game game console target stuff or other internet of uh, things, uh, product stuff that you could do amazingly with T2. And so I'm actually slightly tempted to do it the other way than some other major Linux distributions maybe, which is not to use slash user for everything. Actually, wait a second, why are actually now we rebuild GCC because, because it failed recently uh, because of our test server, yeah, yeah, whatever, YOLO, we have a thread ripping AMD processor. So I'm tempted to instead of slash user put everything in slash in the root partition because honestly this slash user is really stupid in my opinion. I mean why if if you have one partition or one logical volume for all your stuff why have this old-fashioned slash user stuff in my, in my opinion. This is also many of the, of the Linux things. I understand that some Linux distribution might say this slash and slash user is stupid historic relict but then taking some illogical decisions like using slash user when it in my opinion it's it's maybe this user makes no sense right it's not it's not user it's system so yeah also certainly in our microkernel stuff would be a little nicer namely sorted and not just user maybe and yeah but this is what I'm actually so I'm wondering leave me in the comments below or right now in the chat or later below um, certainly our Linux would still be super standard and standard and compatible and stuff. The only difference would be um, to change this reference test builds. Yeah, but the other is also this reference test builds are reference test builds. And the question is, should I really change it or leave it like it is? But otherwise, yeah. But yeah, leave in the comments below what you think would you prefer. I also have seen some like Gobo Linux or others. Um, why does it fail now so much to... Uh, but actually we built it already successfully. So whatever is Failing now, I have no idea. We can now we have this already fully built, so why does it command what here some command not front of dash t? What can't make this why is he still some some version going on? Okay, anyway, we had this already built, YOLO, whatever it is, so apparently rebuilding it still fails, but whatever. Uh, why does it build this again? Um Oh, because I used the wrong one. But this is just just some um, coffee table talk of some things that you wonder could be better sorted, better named. Some things just make no sense and people don't think about it, right? People take it for granted like it was user forever and now we use it forever, but yeah. So let's see how this is going. Actually, I slightly wonder that we have, ah, oh, wait a second. I, it looks like this lib AIO is installing into the wrong directory. I remember I fixed this already, so apparently, yeah, so this broke again. Can't make this, this shit up. 
Um, maybe it has to do with cross compiling because. Um, no, guide cross compiling something. Uh, why does this not. Uh, darn. Okay, fine. Live fixing another. So this is the dedication of perfect, perfection. Other people would say, you know, whatever, ship it in some uh, lip deer garbage. But yeah, we are here. We're professionals. We fix this. We don't only just YOLO stuff. And temp, so this disable our oh, temp is already off. So the only issue is because it builds successfully, just installs into the wrong path, which by the way, fun fact. Okay, we we'll do this in a second. Lip AIO. So the problem is we need to artificially fail this. Um, to have this debug environment because it builds just into the wrong directory. So hook at post make five board and then job one lib AIO. And um, big dice, what term, term are we using? So for this YouTube presentation, we're using. Um, we are using a cool retro term, and um, right now for for this kind of stuff, although this is a fancy system, I'm used to black box um, from my P3 and SG Octane and, and Spark Station and stuff. So yeah, just black box and a cool retro term for uh, the YouTube presentation stuff. Otherwise, personally for daily use, I use more this um, RXVT Unicode. But for YouTube live on YouTube, this certainly makes it looking a little bit more interesting. But yeah, um, and I run this X with old-fashioned X composition manager, the original Kaith Packard or something uh, X X comp manager for the transparency because transparency. Um, Club Penguin, I look onto your comment in a second when we rebuild this ISO for now. Let's. I so think I fixed this lip IO. Maybe I fixed this on some other machine and forgot to. Um, committed. That happens and this is a 300 changes often lingering around in some working copy. Oh, this is all on. Oh, this is make install. So as you see this is finally installing this into lib because this is so what is it reading for? Lib dear lib. Ah oh, yes lib dear. Why is it not? Uh, it has some lib dear um, surprisingly. But what are we running? This prefix, doc dear, cc, something. Um, why do we not have lib dear? Uh, doc dear, cc for build, build, build cc, host cc, strip ar, ld, run lib, nm, test dear. Why is there not? Do we not have usually? Hmm. Strange. Okay, fine. Then remove this again. Make up. Then var append make. Ah, you know what? Maybe actually I removed this recently. Maybe the issue was only. All right. You know what? I I fixed it, and then the, my fix probably I I now remember. Um, lib a i o. Um, that the fix actually caused a regression of uh, installing this in uh, darn, what, uh, stupid Unicode spaces. I, by the way, I hate two things with a passion. The first thing is Unicode spaces. This is such a garbage. You type fast like me with shift or alt control pressed and you get this stupid non-breaking. Why do the stupid shells or terminals even support Unicode breaking spaces? Um, and the second thing is this modern stuff of mouse wheel support in, in terminals. Uh, this is so hilarious. I, I want like scrolling or not some bash stuff doing some. Who wants, raise your hand, who freaking wants history scrolling in your shell with your mouse wheel? Who, raise your hand if you thought this is a good idea. Still need, if you have tips how to disable this stuff. Save me some five minutes of internet searching that. Um, so as we unlock uh, less, so space. So this is probably lip no longer needs. Actually, okay. Um, what is it? Uh, currently, manner, so maybe did uh, Jan accidentally revert that or... Hey, Jan accidentally, it's not even me. Jan caused a regression on our non-unsuccessful non wonder non distribution. Who thought that? So then let's revert this here, reverse merge that revision. And so what we need is actually, so this change most likely, there you also see even on our small little distribution with a couple of people working, even then uh, each uh, other 
Uh, also, did I not correctly merge that? What the heck? Apparently not. What if I typed here merge? Uh, did I not press enter correctly or did I press the mouse wheel or what? Uh, what if I don't know? Hmm. There is no merge in my history. What, how have I managed that? It's beyond my... SVN merge reverse change set minus this one here. Oops, there. Probably I mistyped something. So the correct fix is... So this probably resulted in um, destier, like destier root stuff. So what? So this what this change probably should have only done is remove this root because maybe destier support. But this obviously we need because it can be lib64 and 32 and stuff. Um, also here. So uh, let's maybe double check it once more. Lib source lib ao make file one more. I just want to see uh, if it's with destier in the make file or not. So where's the install? So that is yeah destier libdir. So what? Ah, oh, it's entering into. Okay, I hope this. So yeah, it has destier. I hope. Um, I hope this works. Then let's mine rf in not this, but x86. Lip AIO uh, looks like that, and then rebuild it again and hope that's known the correct lip deer. So let's see. Also, there you see uh, just one second or 22. So, yeah, we can't make this package build in one second. That's how you're doing it. Less of x86 lip AIO, and we get this in. Actually, maybe I just check the F list lip IO directly of your yeah, lip 64. There, just where we Wait a second, it's in include is why is include now? Uh, can't make this shit up. What the heck? Uh, do we run this with include here and now we have there two times the root prefix. How did that happen of make stuff um lip dear. so we have user or maybe, okay, maybe this is, can this be the issue? Probably it's um, the prefix here also. So probably prefix should only be user then. This is duplicating this. Include there apparently. Can't double check enough of this stuff. So prefix, actually wait a second, we have a prefix, why was this not, ah, oh, probably did this, oh, probably this removed it completely, right, so what do we have as change now? Yeah, so that is, okay, no, this here is not correct, um, we needed something like that. So, deinstall again, install again, and then we finally probably reach our new ISO, let's double check the installed files again, include, hey now it looks amazing, uh, do we have still the merge thing, so then let's also make a perfect commit as in partially revert this revision fix uh, lib AIO lib dear for g4 lib64 commits the stuff probably this is the wrong oh the right scene so and then finally hopefully having a nearly complete well VMware like YOLO whatever not really using it myself anyway so if you want to also people ask me on the other comment of p3 stuff if you want the stuff even more perfect because yeah, if i if i make it any any more amazing you couldn't afford it anymore uh, sorry expensive enough all this uh half of my lifetime working on this most amazing 
raw like sushi and vanilla open source stuff. Um, so highly appreciate it if you could help a little bit if you want to run this on your learn something and run it on your P3 and obtain uh, also 8664. Oh, come on. Um, yeah, just uh, fix some stuff like why not send some patch in. Also theoretically you could use this to make stuff upstream better like even so this VMware is not fixed upstream. This SES doesn't have a release table. So if you want to be an amazing open source citizen, you could even go to the upstream packages and collect your five minutes of fame there off because you're yeah, really busy enough not doing that though. Well, I probably could, but maybe. Anyway, if you share, like, and subscribe. So, um, so this ISO create ISO, this ISO created, we can test install it. That is, of course, with QEMU. Um, uh, questions audience I answer in a second just need to find my uh, stuff here so QEMU uh, image create what was the syntax like HDA image and then was it like 32 gig or something then CD-ROM HDA HDA something and then we hopefully have this booting if we are lucky come on you can do it maybe maybe not why is it doing so much stuff though not boot bootable, what? QEMU, yada yada yada, why not? Or did I now prompt? Is this not dual? Wait a second, what have we? Is this hybrid or not? I thought I made this hybrid. Could also see your unrecognized option, yeah. So the problem is I had to, we also need to make this script create ISO I, uh, nicer. Accidentally committed it, said I didn't want this, I wanted to. So the issue is this XORISOFS doesn't support some HFS options that we need for booting on PowerMix, so this is a little bit annoying. Um, let's revert this here because we need XORISO for uh, grub 2 EFI and hybrid booting, so let's try that again. And what I will probably need to do is that I will probably hard code that, ah, come on, probably hard code that to if the to be created ISO includes some HFS um, done, have fun. Then um, use XORISO FS unless there is some HFS options and you see old stuff because I you know this boots. Um, yeah, so latest, latest and greatest, latest of everything as per usually on this channel. Questions in the audience, would you recommend uh, C for game development? No, not really. I would also, yeah, darn, we have here some. Um, not create file doesn't exist. So is this either? So it's trying to. Um, it's trying to, but failing. So I wonder slightly. Is this just in a, out of memory? So in my opinion, C should use at least C plus plus with at least with least old-fashioned manual C arrays and strings as possible. Like not that much string copy and. Um, a string copy and string what all the string maps. So not manual because it will only cause you bugs in guru meditation. Um, shit, there is still something what is now missing here. Can't mix this stuff up. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, there's always so much to you if you are ISO bootable on poor, P, poor PCP3 and now you have some uh, this, by the way, this worked, this ISO creation worked stably, reliable for a decade, and then I started to optimize it for P3, all the previous videos, because 256, so basically for a decade, I had, or actually for more than a decade, I had no reason whatsoever to optimize this for less than, say, half a gig of memory, but yeah, P3 forced me to that too, for you to play along at home, and now we have, yeah, as usual, you micro optimizes and optimize like out of this now you have fragile stuff off because now we have like really making sure we do not have any stray file in there for the p3 because memory and it's like yeah we, we try so hard that now it's each time we build it like is this and that messing because of this fragile shell scripting a little bit so uh, yeah see not really recommended um due to all those reasons also more live channel have the second channel there more more live with me there recommend the channel list all the security vulnerabilities, C, in my opinion, um, un unpopular, but my opinion, don't use C for anything. At least C++ with maybe not the latest and greatest template features, but um, at least some C++ strings, 
like those that you had basically since the STL since 1998 or something or 1996 or five something like basically for 20 years and in my opinion it's hilarious you you don't want this bugs and security issues uh, not only for games or operating systems or low level stuff especially for your games maybe not that security related but certainly guru meditation all the manual stuff fiddling there's always something going wrong um, really wonder why this so file access could not create symbolic link so yeah I probably need cannot open so lip mount why would this or is it uh, you know what maybe it's just missing a file it could actually be that I think there was also what have we rebuilt like um, lip mount is in is it in utilinux also without s but anyway but yeah, just ask more. That's what we're here for, why we are guru meditating about or so this is lib mount or ADMF list. Amazing plain audio. This is Util Linux, just as expected. Probably this is just a file listing, this is a stupid rename it. Maybe let's hope it's just that. If we are lucky anyway. Um, understood so Club Penguin have a mysterious external hard drive. Could you recognize this model? Sounds like Western Digital something, but uh, why do you need help with this? Um, no idea. So let's target this again and create ISO that again and hope that file is there because otherwise we'd probably call it. So what do we have here? Also, Manson. Wait a second. This can be it's just a typo of me of recurring. Not amazing. Names and mistypings are just a little bit. So. Um, but yeah, as usual, if I trigger you with this, don't use C for anything because old-fashioned glorified assembler front end garbage, then if it triggers you, leave it in the comments below, uh, your anger of me disliking C. And certainly I'm quite advanced in C, C++ and other languages, but honest opinion also. In my opinion, we cannot only criticize big corporations for all the security like Microsoft and Apple and Google for all the security vulnerabilities. We need to be honest with ourselves and that includes to admitting that using C in 2020 or even the last decades, certainly not the most amazing thing. So yeah, also UDEF, so another day I need to get rid of this warning. This is just probably missing in the groups file. Yeah, also this, uh, I need to optimize. So this is probably not too much of a deal. Um, also this doesn't work because no. So also the stupid thing of Linux, if this panics then you can't scroll super annoying while debugging. Slightly wonder what's going on now. Um, actually, I wonder if we either give it more or less. So P3, let's run with 300 megabyte and see what happens because this is automatically using the smaller stage. Darn it. So, I mean, it, it changed a little bit. So it's most likely was this file missing. We Maybe we need to double check if we still have something missing there for all of this. Not Nothing missing in there. Um, probably this should be all, but probably there's still whatever. This is just an invalid regular expression, nothing. So it should be all in there. Um, so now we, so now init no such file. Why do we see? Maybe we should build this and watch this carefully if we see some stray arrow scrolling by. So what is this for those who are new to this channel? This is building a whole distribution. So we compiled fully out, fully as and fixed some errors on the way, um, but otherwise fully automated. And so this is creating a whole ISO for you to download and play along at home. Actually, there is actually, you know what? It's, it says here some, oh, why is this scrolling? So annoying. Actually, it says here tar. Did we not rebuild tar? But it doesn't give me, why does it not give me? Okay, let's just build. So probably just bash is missing actually. Should read this more closely. This is, yeah, so this super annoying pain in the ass. This uh, also, yeah, there you see ever changing stuff, new system calls, new whatever, new crazy strange stuff. Um, probably a really, but it can only be this rename it. It's a, the possibility that this is something else in this rename it in, in core utils of install fame there. It's highly unlikely. What was the other tar and bash? So, yeah. Probably I will, yeah, maybe tonight, maybe with some wine or gin or I don't know what to drink all this stuff away. And um, maybe at midnight I fix this at home or something. It's not like with this 
uh, lockdown that you can do anything else here at midnight anyway. So let's try this one more time. Otherwise, uh, oops. But yeah, do we still have getting? I mean, maybe actually, maybe I should. The problem is not all of the stuff is a failure, but maybe. Um, like not, not, not all stuff missing, so it could be like you intentionally built without if config because you don't want to have so much stuff in there. Um, yeah, so yeah, I wish you know this is hilarious, right? You wanna, oh, this is size. You uh, yeah. So I mean, from all the obvious things, mouse wheel doesn't even scroll. It scrolls the bash history. It's hilarious. Actually, it doesn't have this one in there right now, so maybe this is good now. So, so yeah. But yeah, hundred, hundred things fixed. Um, 99 colorful Luft balloons here already and, and still some stupid issues. So um, it's as usual as my, my life for decades, you fix, fix and fix and at the end of the day still some more stuff to fix. Um, and um, yeah, ironically something we already looked into with. I, I have faith that hopefully now we have this running. Let's see. Hey, we have it running finally. This was just missing files. For that part, we can also use more memory. So this, I think, most likely was. Actually, let's uh, let's use even more memory because we have 64 gigabytes. So four gig. Um, and um, so you know what? Let's run with an able KVM for a little bit more performance. Certainly helps with that standard. Oops. That's the nutty compression, also zoom to fit because we're not. Yes, yeah, so this, uh, not not only does it look unprofessional and the symlinks, um, this probably is. I, I probably already know which line of code to tweak for this. Is probably it's checking for existing file and this this file is not existing anymore because the symlink is pointing to a moved file for the stage creation. So probably I only need to change this to existing or symlink like dash e and dash capital l or something um so yeah then for you if you want to install this and if you this is funny i think does this look better than on the p3 because this right now is actually correct on the p3 i think the text might not have been looking correctly but anyway um so yeah just install and uh, partition this a fun fact we have an emulated floppy <coughs> because it's 2020 so parted also no, i really like parted let's use cf disk um, let's use MBR because we're not new, everything, primary type is Linux, that's fine. And then also write it and let's do it and quit and file system of create, probably better if it should work, right? This and install and that and full install and install. So yeah, super easy. Just so on the P3, I, I rebuilt the whole image because I had some major fixes. Also, I changed the version. So after a decade of version 9 of work in progress, version 9 of T2, since 2009 apparently, we now bumped the version here for this build to 20. So next version of T2 will be 20.3 because that is what the date is. And um, so this is why I completely rebuilt this P3. So I unfortunately need to retest it as per usual. Um, I also will test it on the Power Mac because probably more people have even a Power Mac than a P3 maybe for playing along at home. Actually, so the, so this, but this is still a bug. So there you see, you you spend days and weeks and weekends and nights on on perfecting this. And so this is a new regression. So you know what this could actually be? Is this GNU org? It could be GNU org missing. So I use test for this. But I think this is. Uh, slightly wonder. Do we have even? Do we have? Are we even have? Um, but I think the behavior, so the one bug is the same as on the P3, because mind you, this is x86 right now. On the P3, we have we had the same issue of not creating the FS tab. Maybe this might be actually only GNU org missing. Let's double check this off. Do we have GNU org? No, we have GNU org. It's probably not that. Um, so yeah, of, of all the issues, I also need to check why um, the FS tab doesn't ge let get generated. Also, yeah, also this is, yeah, let's, let's make notes here already. So, um, because without notes, I forget. And did I delete this already? Why is it so wrong? Why is here? I thought I had here to do. Did I delete this? 
Why is here not to do anymore? Or was I done with it? Don't remember being done with it. Hmm, how did that happen? Anyway, maybe I was done with it. Could potentially be. So we have here still FS tab creation. We have um, we have grub first run install no grub config. We have ps3kboot.conf creation. Um, maybe ps or power pc dialog titles maybe um, so yeah let's recreate this let's I think a second time it works for some strange reason let's reinstall it again let's hope that probably works off grab automate no error um, in my opinion this is really stupid this you, you look here I thought what error is no error as uh, the usability the small usability stuff in my opinion they shouldn't really print this the installation finished would be enough this is just a random irritating additional irritation here. You, in my opinion, this, this word error should only be printed there. if there was an error, like you looked at what error is. No. Anyway, so this probably should work. There was something missing, slightly wondering what it is. Uh, do we rebuild? No, we don't have an FS step. Although, fun enough, I think on the, on the P3 we booted um, let's maybe change root into there, that would be more on target. Um, let's run stone, uh, also okay. Let's mount this here, mount bound, bind mount this. Oh, this is also the right, the wrong directory, turn it. Um, target, wait a second, is it? No, ah, come on. And um, stone. Let's see, I oh, know we have, uh, we don't have, what would be the install thing, darn, how can we, how is it running this, uh, this first run, um, don't even remember how this is run, stone mod, this would be somehow generic, darn, how is it run, um, because I wanted actually to see what kind of, Error we get so you know what maybe we can actually rerun this. Let's new mount. Does it has even new mount? Amazing. Um, let's I think this. Let's double check that we didn't have anything mounted. That uh, proxies no mt target. You mount that. You mount. Oh, we have even. We was mounted twice. Anyway, let's. St oh wait a second. Let's. I wanted. I wanted stone. Let's see if text work just to see. Oops. Install the system just like serial line embedded vintage stuff text mode. Not really sh barely test this. Okay, so this is, does this fine. Yeah, so um, okay, but it is GNU org. So um, it's that after all. Why? So there's still, how could there still be something? Do we really not have that? So my suspicion was correct. The question is not only why is it missing. But it's there. Why are oh, ours second? Um, so here's some strange zoom link. So maybe they moved it somehow. So this is linking to that. Maybe this is um, So apparently something changed with installation for some reason and that is why we, so we don't even have GNU org there So this is so this explains that another bug most likely found so after all the efforts, can't even publish that ISO yet because no. um, so many small things. But people ask that people could contribute low hanging fruits while I work on the major things. So if you want to contribute them, it would be amazing. The more you contribute generic fixes, the more I can focus on P3, RSX and uh, SG Obtain, 3D and graphic and whatnot. 
So let's see what do we have here. Oh, but this is a recurring theme. So not making this stuff up for decades. This stuff installed and then apparently a decade later. Um, so we apparently filter something. So that is the issue for some reason. Maybe historic Rock Linux reason. Um, they wanted that in. Ah, oh, you know what? Uh, can that be? So it was like it's supposed to be filtered. So probably I, I guess the reasoning was of probably clear their Rock Linux creator fame. Don't even remember doing that. But probably the thinking was like some early boot stuff, probably maybe sometimes want GNU org. And for those old fashioned, what we talked earlier, old fashioned setup of you want slash uh, your, your root and your root user on two separate partitions. Or I personally, even I've never done this. Well, what I've like home obviously, but I even this old super old fashioned Unix setup, I've never ever in my life done. But for that, Probably as I wanted that so probably this filter doesn't work anymore for some like this is uh, automatic translation stuff and then um, which um, Needs to be empty to not filter to install filter. Um, yeah, so exactly what I suspected by the way Can we copy we can also actually let's we uh, What was it? Do we have does it go into uh, so yeah, then if we want to keep this for historic reasons, then we would, uh, was it using a tab or not? I was, was using a tab. So if we want to keep this for historic completeness, by the way, does it, is it short enough? Or how many characters are this ruler of, hey, it's long enough for, why is it wrapped even if it's less than 80? Um, so if we want this for historic completeness, we would need to figure out why this, doesn't work anymore, which probably also do behind the scenes and not live. Why would this fail? So apparently something with the install wrapper hmm. is not wrapping, obviously. Let's. But yeah, probably this is enough for today with just the basic stuff we already over one hour into the live stream as per usual logs on GNU org. Um, so yeah, I would need to debug that, um, but uh, so also actually another to do, the most important to do actually is obviously um, finding this install missing files, maybe um, direct rename add to as it's called because now. So yeah, do we, so um, how is it installing this even? Let's see, can we fix this in a second? Or actually, can we fix it in a minute? A second, certainly. Bin of user share, where is bin new org? Uh, this is a zoom link. Hmm. That is funny, doesn't even directly trigger. So here's make install, so what's happening here? Um, support extensions. I certainly you should. I uh, hear install as h lib tool install. So maybe this is somehow due to that not okay. So probably it's not using our maybe this is using um, the question is, of course whether it even works in separate because this new GNU org version has some fancy sandboxing and plugins not really sure if GNU org then even works without this so probably this is whatever it's doing though um, we probably so this is probably preventing the, the install wrapper to wrap it so that would again not remove what uh, did i screw something up here darn how did this happen That. Um, 
So yes, this is of course always the you see ever. In my opinion, if, if they have a make file system, then just leave it so this is a problem. Always changing for changing and then um, you break this, the other people distribution packaging stuff, hook it, post, make just like we have done it previously, a board just to get the debugging environment and then see what this install shell thing is doing. Um, no, we didn't start, start from Linux from scratch. Maybe even when Rock Linux was started in 1996 or whenever, I joined there around, at least I joined around 1996, 7, 8, something of that sort. Um, not even sure if Linux from scratch existed back then, so not sure. Maybe I should ask Claire, uh, Clifford Wolf there, f how exactly she started back in the day. The T2 is a, the, the successful, the, the forked and successor of uh, Rock Linux. Maybe I should ask her actually, but I think she started from scratch and um, probably anyway. So just like unpacking the stuff like in, in 20 years ago, um, and packaging and then of course it's like Slackware and stuff like, and it's like one of the few actually, fun fact, Rock Linux aka nowadays T2 is one of the handful of few original distributions that are not based on Debian, Red Hat and, and Susan and whatnot. So yeah, also coffee is empty. And probably, you know what? Let's uh, grab one lemonade in one second. Not to paid advertisement, so so relatively tasty stuff here. And if you work for this company, you can also contact us for. Sponsorship deal, then I can show the logo. Otherwise, not a paid advertisement. <clears throat> Otherwise, fine stuff though. Um, so let's see what is going on here. So this is, I think, was it like AUX or something? Install whatever that was. What? No, not that one. So that would be install. Where was it even there? Uh, Knorg, of course, every, everywhere in here. Extension, something. So bin sh, where is this even? The question is, of course, is it even worth it or does it or does not work with this lib exec stuff? Where is it even? Oh, it was lib, right? This was somehow this here, I think. So, what? It's even lib. Where is it? Do we have. Something of GNU org um, user here is user bin so installed so here it was um, install as h z that is in is it in this mkdir user bin installs does it sound like local apparently so what is this doing install script program maybe it's the same you know what it could be the same garbage as in where have we seen this this we have seen this the other day in temp uh, mk temp maybe it's even doing some diff dance like diff and only install if it differs of different mode and stuff can't even make this stuff up uh, install only if different preserve lost data time yeah i really hate this mode though um i slightly and Maybe due to that, how is it even rename? Is it? Uh, but you know what? I'm actually people telling me I don't spend enough. If it's you see how much time erasing takes, I'm not actually not that most most interested in um, how this how this works and fails. Um, I'm only interested to fixing this. And in MK temp, I actually simply supplied install equals install. Yeah, so install C. So um, the funny thing is so install dash C and did, did it not know it ignores? I think it just ignored uh, dash C. I saw this there, I think. Um, yeah, options dash C ignored and the freaking make file, of course, uh, calls it with uh, install. Hello? Did I not just see it there? Install as hc, of course. Install program stuff with dash c because ignored all over the place. Anyway, so yeah, I think I, just, I simply try to fix this. I'm not into because it caused a whole lot of headaches. This stupid diff and not installing, in my opinion, 
really wonder why people need to have this there. If you want to install, you want to install it and not like maybe if it's different or not. And yeah. Let's see, package. Uh, actually, we can we can pretest this. Let's pretest this before I implement it and then it doesn't work. Pretesting meaning aka as in evil make install install equals install uh, without echo because yeah. Probably works and it worked and um, so this probably works around this problem because not interested in the install dense. And let's see user root bin gnu okay there we have it amazing stuff now it works again. Maybe actually the issue is that the stuff is also using rename it and whatnot. So gnu uh, there and then of not abort but do we have here install? No, we don't. So this is post make. Um, create a zoom link. So that would be conv opt install filter. And um, maybe leave a space there for some reasons. And then var append make inst opt with that. Do we use it like this? Install, install wrapper, maybe. Not sure what's the best, yeah, whatever, something like that. Always a balance between overdoing spacing and sorting and stuff. Um, Pepsi writes he uses Temple of S. I want to see that, prove it, send a screenshot. I only believe you if you've seen, send proper proof of that. Otherwise, whatever. So this means um, also yeah T2 highly optim optimized and, and automated and stuff. So creating an ISO, not sure what the Debian procedure is, but here it takes only a minute or actually wrong. Here it only takes 10 seconds or 15. Dep obviously depending on your, your mileage, mileage will vary depending on whether you have a security mitigated Intel CPU or some epic thread ripping Ryzen ISO and then create that and so basically wipes image, reinstall this stuff. Um, but then we really, so we tested this better as I usually, as we test this already twice, let's zoom to fit. Uh, actually, I, I slightly wonder if I should patch this and default because I slightly wonder why does it not freaking default to zoom to fit. Maybe I patch this actually another day. Um, install. Yes, uh, let's use fdisk just for the testing fun. Create, no, not create, um, what is it? Primary, um, something like that. Print of write and then create some file system. Let's now test. Uh, do you think XFS should boot? Maybe, let's see, does something happen? And so much to dedication, also. Fancy esoteric option, probably some. Also, XFS, back in the day, fun fact, I often before we had X4 and well, actually I'm, I'm totally not a fan of this X file systems, don't have many good memories and performance stuff. Uh, back in the day, I used a lot of Riser 3. Riser 4 was too much large code based stuff, but Riser 4, plenty fast, one of the first journaling file systems on, on Linux. And otherwise, I have good memories with XFS, Pretty good performance. Even I even used it. Um, fun enough, I even used it on Spark. Um, and um, hey, this fixes file system FS tab creation. Who knew? I had the sorry, the suspicion, suspicion yesterday. And yeah, so XFS pretty good performance on low performance machines like Spark, like my my fastest Ultra Spark, even still three hundred ninety or so megahertz. And Euro Berlin, thanks for having us. And none grub. Yeah, grubs. So this is still a thing. And so we can actually edit our to do of missing FS tab creation works now. And so next thing fixed. No errors reported, but we need this. So somehow I need to fix this next also for whatever reason. That doesn't work so fast. Try. And so yeah, also you have seen there's this, this tech info, whatever, make info, create something, whatever stuff, always some new glitches because that's what we 
not even ours, like it's upstream broken. Like you just compile it and some unsupported syntax error of whatever. It's like, yeah, thanks for that. Um, but yeah, you also see how snappy this installs, right? Set standard, the most amazing decompression and uh, fun stuff is this. this doesn't work now. Maybe actually we should have created the, um, should have created the installed grub. Maybe this issue is just grub, um, grub installing before the config was there. Config file. What? Why does this not do a thing? Is it empty? What? Hmm. That is somewhat inconvenient. Um, uh, can't make this stuff up. This was working once upon a time. What was the syntax? Linux. Um, HD0. Stuff. Uh, so yeah, need to. VM Linux and root equals def. Probably SDA one, I guess. And it already something and boot. Let's see what happens. But yeah, it's always good to know some little okay this was maybe our oh, darn we have here lib a okay so this probably okay fine we need to also yeah let's do this already so next issue uh, it's this is just because our lib ao was in the wrong directory that is why the kernel init rd is now missing that because it was on lib64 so uh, thank you for init rd even broken amazing stuff um also a v change of uh, but should this not work anyway maybe ls def sd something what have you even installed it or is it oh it was sdh ah oh, darn we still have the actually fun fact for those who are new to linux on this channel there's also so these are the legacy legacy drivers um i'm actually considering i was considering maybe Issue. So I was because so in the meantime the Linux kernel has two drivers. Also yeah, they they, they delete support for 386. They delete support for Spark Station 2 or Spark Station 1. They delete support for ARM uh, KVM, 32-bit ARM KVM because uh, YOLO that is too old or something or whatever. Um, but yeah, they they still have of all the stuff or they want to delete frame buffer forever. Also a lot of stuff. Not only PS3 or Octane and basically everything. You know, that for, for decades they want to delete frame buffer, but yeah, YOLO, what then? And for all the stuff they could delete, they could, in my opinion, the one thing they really could delete is the old fashioned IDE drivers that are in two flavors because for many of those old fashioned parallel uh, PA, PATA, parallel IDE, good old fashioned IDE, we have two drivers one for the IDE subsystem and one for the new ATA subsystem and um, yeah so this is so the old drivers run with HDA so probably theoretically I could actually um, try to reboot and also too many terminals of where is even my um, uh, and this again so yeah this in my opinion they could really I'm um, fun fact I actually being here a perfectionist and testing on like unlike Debian and stuff really testing this stuff i tested recently on the last year's benchmarking all the stuff i made the extra effort to test the um the ata subsystem ide drivers on a couple of vintage boards and it worked for all except one was a little bit more timeout glitchy but otherwise it, it worked so um so much to that just out of curiosity by, because i was thinking can we not maybe disable that um but yeah leave me in the comments below so i just saw there was a comment so maybe this was Topic, but do you have some lockdown lifted in your when the lockdown will be? Um, so in, in Germany, so we're in, in Germany, right? Um, we only have lockdown so far in Bavaria, Hesse, and um, the rest is maybe coming this weekend. 
actually didn't check the actually also right now. Firefox is for some reason not happy. Um, let's check if there's some latest and greatest. Um, yeah, really bad day for Italy and most of the rest of the world. Um, not sure yet what is the latest because we are doing here. Um, anyway, so oops, it was also so yeah. Uh, so right now not lockdown, but most likely because this is my office and I can with uh, can go to work. So with this paper of from my own company to myself of hey I need to go to work for um, your entertainment and my income then I can still work over so and certainly to the supermarket. But yeah, really devastating crisis um, and certainly really uh, yeah for all the death toll of uh, this. So yeah, but if you have any updates of your area, then leave it in the comments below. Let's see one more try here of, oh, and of course it should just work. It's just like probably grub config stuff glitch of that. that also yeah, to do long list of, I fixed already 100 issues and three are still left. So probably we wanna continue tomorrow. Linux there from that and boot Linux uh, VM. Linux and root equals def hta1 then uh, da1 and init also init or d of do we have here no, we don't have whole world whole world deletion deletion um, init or dz Let's boot. So what is then left? So then it's still left fixing grub. Although as a workaround, um, you could simply run this again, like I probably did last time. But you see what you don't, what I have not fixed half hey and we have we have boot. Um, amazing stuff. So then the only last, well, always the only and only the only last thing probably, um, probably we can actually let's try this with test. So we also have that. So that looks pretty good so far. Um, uh, this I uh, this is um, I also yeah I, this regression this stupid warning here invalid argument this is only because I I made a change for building with Musil libc and now we have this stupid error printout glitch warning stuff so yeah actually you know what let's put this on the to do because you can never have enough to do so that is RC wrapper uh, non Musil signal warning stuff in there. Um, Let's uh, run uh, setup again and um, let's run this grub thing again, create this again and install again. And let's see if this fixes that boot glitch there. Um, comment there, no lockdown at the moment in UK. Oh, UK, um, my thoughts and prayers are with you. A lot of public places such as pubs even shut. A lot of people still going to work, including me. Possibly they could be locked on the key. Shall see. Yeah, you really want. In my opinion, this is uh, in my opinion repeating many experts. Um, I think the UK will have a very high death toll to come. I'm really sorry to spread that news. Um, my thoughts and prayers are with you. Um, Keep distance like really more than one meter, whatever that is in a imperial units of probably more than three feet, uh, probably more than four three feet. Um, and um, yeah, really uh, this 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 response certainly was not the most advised. Um, yeah, certainly, yeah, um, this this will be really not. Um, yeah, can't really offer more than thoughts and prayers. I'm really sorry for that. This is really, uh, anyway, hope you hope that doesn't trigger you. But um, herd, uh, uh, yeah, herd Im immunity, that is, uh, yeah, really, leave us in the comments below. <clears throat> anyway, so there, that is rebuilt. Let's, uh, we can also test like, although DH client tested on, it probably should work through user space stuff that probably, also do we have Maybe not because user space QEMU. Uh, let's reboot. Let's see if that works. And yeah, probably this I also. Ah, oh, this is only other control. This is klog of klog. This is yeah. Need to take a look. Um, 
really likes this more polished init stuff. So also of all the previous videos, this init stuff, yeah, this also works now. So this is just the grub stuff only a first run glitch there. However, that happens probably some fire test, something of uh, whatever. Um, yes, unfortunately, really, uh, also, by the way, this warning is not from me. It's also, yeah, you should think this util Linux stuff, like, but yeah, should just work. But yeah, unknown Hertz value, 80 assumed 124, like, what the heck? So this this stupid warning is on me. Um, yeah, never can test enough, but yes, it would, would look even more freaking amazing without this stupid stuff, but yeah, another night. Another live stream, maybe with some gin or whatnot. So yeah, that's it for today. And um, again, a lot of stuff fixed. Um, and shut down. So yeah, next is then. So this ISO is relatively good. Maybe it depending on... But they, they you see so much work, like weeks of more than 20% of my end night shift polishing stuff and still not amazing because decades of regressions. Of course, this is the small the small things you can live with this with this warning that you've just seen. You can live with the grub. You can you can live with just installing twice. But the problem is if I've sometimes I released ISOs with like yeah just run it twice. But the problem is normal people don't know it. They install it. They get frustrated. Stuff not working. So I probably really need to fix this. Um, I've seen this with the P3. The last P3 ISO has the only glitch probably that I know like the, the last year's P3 ISO that you need to bring your own cable.conf but of course nobody except those who watch this live stream know that and I get only frustrated emails of I installed it doesn't boot like yeah it men it's mentioned in the comments but yeah I understand people can't watch all ESOs uh, so yeah it's always like the usual 9-10% uh, you really need to um, you can really not have this 1% tiny of like yeah you really need to spend this efforts extra efforts again which will be again another day so last extra efforts and um then not sure of yeah because if i after this the problem is it ruins the whole experience so 99 percent done nobody sees this 99 percent of your work of, of sitting your day and night and fixing all the stuff and getting everything to work when then at the end there's one percent of this this is tiny Grub not installing this K boot conf missing. It's like yeah, this was well, one tiny boot glitch stuff ruins everything. People, normal Joe users, they are playing along at home, can't use it because it doesn't boot. So yeah, probably this time after spending all those efforts and with all your sharing, liking, uh, liking and subscribing and uh, hanging all around here, probably this time it's versus extra effort. This is one little one percent of this night and tomorrow maybe or something of certainly this weekend. And then we have amazing. Um, images, if you are into Spark, it's really sad for me that uh, of decades, as you see, I do Spark, I do Spark Linux for over 15 years now, since um, probably a kind of 15 years, like 2003, with the, my, my first my first Ultra, Spark 5, Ultra 5, 217 megahertz, I think, um, and still the same, not, not really much of a faster one, except the Ultra 30 with 390 megahertz, maybe. Um, and yet, 15, over a decade, 15 years of Ultra Spark Linux, and the people um, I showed it already, it's it's so sad. Um, you could sit here and everything could be amazing, but no, the, the upstream people constantly, like, yeah, showed it already, but yeah, undefined references, Spark driver name, Espas claimed, like, yeah, thank you very much for breaking that for Spark. Um, really not cool. Um, Probably, honestly, I, I'm at this point of time. I probably not fix this. Like, if you want, so if you want to, yeah, be my guest, send a patch. Um, but otherwise, I probably build a non-exorc ISO then for Spark because YOLO. Um, if this boots, probably, yeah, I test boot it on the Ultra Five, and if it test boot, I release it, and that's it. Uh, you can run nest, nest, network, or you can fix this. Um, I would rather write my own. So after after 20 years with X and people telling X will die and go away since a decade because Western and, and stuff, uh, Wayland, um, I rather write my own windowing system for my own microkernel for our Risk Five FPGA uh, goodness here than uh, spending my time 15 years later the upstream distributors of uh, Fedora. 
Red Hat, Debian, Ubuntu, SUSE constantly breaking. I, again, recurring theme, everyone breaking stuff, causing regressions faster than I can uh, as one man unsuccessful, one man fixes stuff here. I get nothing then because the whole day I fix this upstream breakage. But I've, this is why I supply this minimal ISO stuff as much as it, it's working. I spend quite some efforts to fix stuff, but enough is enough. If you want Xorg, then fun fact, probably just for the fun of it, we continue certainly here soon, Risk 5 FPGA, uh, fun little graphic gaming stuff, and then our microkernel and our own windowing system, because you know, this, this is C and constantly breaks, and the replacement is C and constantly breaks, so uh, I'm, I'm out of that. So microkernel on windowing system, and I'm rather testing my own microkernel, or actually my running my own windowing system just for the fun of it on use a space on Linux and hopefully soon my own microkernel on Spark, then, yeah. But if you want to help, send a patch. I highly appreciate it. Until then, yeah. Um, what I will, however, maybe do, uh, most likely I will try sometime soon, which probably you want to share, like, and subscribe for uh, the Hewlett Packard PA, uh, Precision Architecture, HPPA. I will probably try to patch the, the terminal and frame buffer stuff for the HP visualize previous video and maybe because right now it's only console like text mode console stuff not even frame buffer I might try to patch the PA risk visualize to have maybe some basic super basic because I have don't have specs for that basic frame buffer working maybe um, not sure if it's possible maybe there's a reason that the famous kernel developer have not got this to work or don't have but I thought maybe it's a low-hanging fruit of maybe have some super basic frame buffer and if that is possible not sure but we will try maybe in some weeks if this works on the HPPA risk then maybe I try to compile X for that and maybe if so, so big many maybes maybe this frame buffer is possible to do in an afternoon like like basic like super basic like just just works a little bit and if this works then let's pray and hope that x compiles for you packard pa hppa maybe we will see and see but anyway um as usual leave me in the comments below what you would like to see most and don't forget to share like and subscribe let's see what are the comments about herd immunity are doing there um haven't heard of herd immunity just looking at it now can't remember last time i've watched live tv watching news puts in mind and bad place here uh, unfortunately that is the case in some countries like this uh, really sorry to hear that um pretty terrible approach to the crisis uk health minister i think stay safe everyone yeah stay 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 safe um keep distance there stay at home wherever possible uh, wait this virus stuff out at home uh, follow your local government recommendations and other World Health Organization best practices. Um, programming 101 guide, please include ways we can contribute to T2 to help you. Yeah, ways to contribute because not everyone has a P3 and stuff. This is why I specifically tested, built and tested this. Also this ISO as you have seen here in QEMU F for regular x86 fame for you to play along at home. And then you can even, to help, just install this when released, hopefully this weekend. It doesn't make sense to re re release this 99% working ISO. I will spend the 1% extra mile of providing you the most smooth experience this time. Um, to avoid hundreds of last time I did this, hundreds of support emails. Of, hey, I tried to install it, doesn't work. It's like, yeah, I can't on top of this answer 100 support emails for free, certainly. So I polish it a little bit more, pu pu uh, publish it then then you can even run it in your favorite emulator hopefully and play around with that and uh, send updates like KDE GNOME, um, package your own fancy emulator stuff, your uh, games or other tools that might be missing and even from an emulator without ruining your fancy Mac install, uh, run it in VMware Parallels, um, VirtualBox or QEMU or whatever and um, yeah, so it's certainly a super helpful way. Uh, also, yeah, cross you can also cross compile if you want to see Spark fix. Try to compile it natively on your Spark or cross compile it as you can see here on x86. Super amazing. Industry leading cross compile support. I People tell me better than others. Um, 
commercial Intel offerings of failing clear Linux of uh, its uh, a hobby there or something. People told me, that's it for today. I hope you heard, uh, learned something. Uh, hope to see you soon for the next fun video updates and ISO releases to come. And certainly P3, Octane and uh, fun stuff. And uh, yeah, see you next time.